everyone, welcome back. This is David Pickering. You're watching my video log for C2 Birdie, Unit 4, Lesson 2 on Drones. Alright, this week the kids are going to be doing a project that requires three rather simple steps. So number one, they're to imagine that the use of drones became universal. Okay, number two, let's go ahead and throw that into a movie idea. Um, in this case, they're going to be putting together a message, a plot, uh, characters, good and bad, and then the setting for their movie. And finally, when that's all done, let's go ahead and showcase that to a movie producer and see if he will buy into it. Okay, so let's go right to step one. Right, step one, the kids are to imagine that the use of drones became universal throughout the world. All right, remember, up to this point, the kids only know about drones in terms of how they're used in warfare through UAVs, right? Okay, so this week we're going to kind of take them out of that area and into more of uh, the topic of how drones may be used in more practical terms. All right, in this case, used for delivery. Number two, maybe for restaurants. And number three, maybe police. Okay, remember, in the topic of CCTV in their C1 class, they've already talked about how Big Brother might be watching uh, the citizens. In this case, we have the drones to kind of aid in that as well. So in IDA, when you're talking about the possible effects, really have the kids think outside the box. All right, in step two, the kids are to create a movie plot about these drones. Now, this seems like an easy step, but in the past, I found out that just coming up with a simple idea for a movie or a story uh, it's kind of the hardest step for the kids. So we want to really get around this by uh, bringing in some suggested ideas. Alright, so in this case, there are a lot of movies out there that uses drones. Uh, let me go ahead and list a few. Wally, -E, okay, AI, Terminator, Real Steel, Lost in Space, Pacific Rim, iRobot, and one of my favorite classics of all time, Star Wars. Alright, so go ahead and bring in some pictures or some footage to show the kids just to get their juices rolling and hopefully they'll learn to collaborate a little more and get a little more excited about what they're doing in class. Alright, the final step of this project uh, has the kids proposing their idea to a Hollywood producer. In this case, that would be you, right? Okay, um, for this step they're going to go ahead and create some kind of storyboard. Um, a storyboard that kind of depicts the setup, the rising action, the climax, the falling action and the conclusion of their movie plot. So, to do this, I would really recommend that you go ahead and have a couple of applications downloaded on the students' apps. Alright, to do this, I would really recommend that you grab a couple of the students' tabs, bring them downstairs to the office and have the staff help you download them onto their tabs, maybe before class or during the first break. Alright, the first awesome app Story Border. Okay, you can go ahead and download this for free through Samsung. Okay, but the cool thing about this, it really allows a lot of group collaboration. Okay, and what I mean here is the kids can essentially uh, prepare on a piece of paper, um, part of the plot maybe through S Note or Flipbook, and then kind of integrate all of it together when they're done. And the final product, okay, it's pretty much a piece of everyone's work put together. All right, so I would really recommend that you go ahead and make use of this app. All right, furthermore, this week, uh, to just make the project a little more interesting, I'm going to put a twist into the project. And for my twist, I want the kids to prepare a movie preview. In this case, it just has to be 30 to 60 seconds long, but this will allow me to kind of introduce them to other cool apps, such as the FX Guru, the, um, an app called the Greatest Movie Theme Song. And this is also available through Samsung, and it pretty much compiles a list of different theme songs that are found in different movies. Very easy to use and it would make their um, their piece of film a lot more interesting. And finally, uh, the flipbook. If they don't want to act, they can always go ahead and express their ideas through drawing instead. What does every movie preview have? It has that dark, mysterious voice that kind of gives that background of what the movie is going to be about, right? Okay, so in this case, this is a perfect opportunity for the kids to make use of those expressions listed in their books. Throughout history, man has marveled at the vast complexity of the universe. Without a single unified voice, humanity has been left searching for answers to the unknown. Now, one man has the power to change that and to spread his voice across the earth for all of mankind to hear. One man. Me. Alright, it doesn't have to be perfect, but hey man, 
If the kids are having fun through role playing, do it. To put icing on the cake of this project, I want to go ahead and create a competitive environment for the kids. Remember, in the real world, if your movie gets selected by a Hollywood producer, you make bank, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and give that motivation to the kids. For this week, I'm going to go ahead and bring in maybe some small treats and um, just make it really fun for the kids. Um, and with, in which case, through the evaluation period, they're going to go ahead and vote on their favorite project. And I'm going to go ahead and set some criteria for them. And these criteria can include maybe the most dramatic voice, team spirit, body language, most creative, or even the MVP of the night. And through this contest, the kids can really see the, the model forms of what I'm expecting through the showcase. My last advice I would like to leave you with is to create some kind of Hall of Fame folder. All right, and what this is, is every two weeks, go ahead and save one of the kids' project presentations uh, on an MP4 file. And then at the end of the term, it would be a lot of fun to kind of come back and show them the compilation videos that they've kind of produced throughout the term and seeing um, how much their speaking has evolved. And it, it could be just a great way to just end the day or end the term um, having seen all their accomplishments. All right, overall, I hope you guys have a great time. Uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions, uh, davidpickering at chongdam.com.